they did of course play in a cup final in Dubai before Christmas USA couldn't get one over them on that occasion but the muscle memory of that what will the USA have learnt Gareth Reese from that encounter in a big knockout game in this pool decider here. Well, they'll have learned that the Blixbach are a very, very good team. <laughs> 36 other teams on occasions can attest to that. But uh, no, this is going to be a great one. And there's been some discussion about the teams that haven't been involved in those 36 games. But we're going to find out this week weekend. That's what's great about Singapore. We got USA here. We got the likes of Samoa, Fiji, and New Zealand waiting tomorrow. We're going to have some great matches throughout. And support for the Blitz Box wherever you go. A well expectorated nation these days, and, you, and they pop up at these Sevens event and really do get behind their team. Crowd have been loving it, haven't they? It's been great to see the fans back in here. Capacity of 12,000 per day, all tickets sold. So try your luck outside if you want, but uh, at the moment there's none left. I reckon they could have sold three times that. So keen are the locals to be out here following an international sporting event. Yeah, back in sport, sport for life. This uh, facility does a great job promoting people being active and uh, obviously Singapore, a great expat community, people from all over the world. All the flags are on display here. The Rainbow Nation and a few others. The Blitzbox, not only on a 36 game win streak, they're currently enjoying an eight game win streak against the USA Eagles Sevens. You've got to go back to Singapore here in 2019, the Cup semi finals, to find the last time that the USA beat South Africa. And there you go, the last five. Well, a couple of those have been close, haven't they? That Dubai encounter, though, that final 42 7. That was a big score for the Blitzbox. Sheikh Soyuzwapi will lead them out once again. Makata, the number one, he got a hat trick in the previous game. Look out for Selwyn Davids, of course, the number eight. Pulls the strings like nobody can in World Rugby Sevens. Joe Schrader, the captain for the USA. For this one here, great honor for him to lead out the USA Eagles here on the National Stadium in Singapore. And there's MP Visser, who led the team with a plum in Sevilla. And they went to the gold medal there. Four gold medals in a row this series. And a silver so far for the USA. Two wins for them. Tight run thing against Kenya. That could have easily been a draw. Kenya missed the late conversion from in front of the post, but in their second game, much more comfortable, which has got them here to the pool sider against South Africa. Jordan Way from Australia is your referee for this one. Yes, you refereed a cup final here, that North American Cup final between Canada and the USA back in 2017. DHL delivers as always. There's the match ball in the middle. JC Pretorius. There are no more hard working players in World Rugby Sevens than that man right there. A key cog in this South Africa outfit, as is this man, Selwyn Davis. The final game of pool play day one at the HSBC Singapore Sevens. Series leader South Africa against the USA. Can the Eagles stop this 36 game win streak? Early whistle there, Joe Schreeder cleans up the garbage. South Africa's not afraid to give away a few penalties. Compete a lot of the breakdown. Joe Schrader, key leader in this USA team right now. They've lost plenty of top flight talent in recent times. The likes of Madison Hughes, Martin Yosefa, Matai Leuta. He's fast become a very important part of this Eagles setup. Lucas LeCount into contact. There's Falau Niua, the new look Falau Niua. He's fitter than he's been for okay, a long, long time. There he is in the red headgear again at scrum half.
Maceo Brown and Release. runs into contact, gets helped out by LeCamp. Perry Baker, a couple of tries are ready for him this weekend. Through the hands of Schrader. Maceo Brown across to David Still, and look at David Still go through the defender without much trouble. And it's the USA who have the first try. While David Still is a freak athlete, a product of this program in the States, where they're identifying crossover athletes. There's no substitute. It doesn't matter what sport you're playing. He's decided to back himself here. He's not quite sure. The jersey grabs in. Then he realizes he's free, and he pumps it home. Glendale, Colorado. They're looking at sevens athletes, 15s athletes that can serve the Eagles rugby cause, and he's one of them. Yeah, graduate of the X and O's Academy in Glendale. He was only playing rugby for seven months before he made his debut in Vancouver 2021. LeCamp didn't go as high as he would have liked, but that is over, and that's a maximum haul for the Eagles. Great start for them. Newer kicks off both feet, can go either way. Uses the left, goes the far side in the direction of David Still, but he's overcooked it. So that's a give back for the Blitz Box. Not happy with himself. Falau Niua, such an experienced player, his 72nd all time event. Yeah, really refound his purpose for Mike Friday's team. Got super fit. Big cog in the wheel. So is Wapi, the blitz box skipper. Missed the Spanish legs. Great to see him back from a South African point of view. Selwyn David's ball in one arm and put on the floor by LeCamp. That tackle had to be made. How about the counter ruck from David still? And he wins the penalty for his team. A couple of really high IQ rugby moments from David still so far in this game. Yeah, well put. Technically sound, doing the basics well. And that will get the possession and a little bit of territory that Nui is going to put on it. Chance for him to work off the set-piece line out here. Such a dangerous player, Selwyn Davids. A good tackle, though, well, wasn't right. it, from the camp. Well not to Coming put the arm up. over the shoulder as well. And give away the automatic penalty. Schrader has won the line out for the USA. There's still it. Not on the ball. Waiting over on the far side already one try again. He might back himself again against the slightly more diminutive Selwyn Davids in Pivisus Reckons there's been a, a knock on but it's carried on by Maceo Brown No Kayvon Williams available for this game for the USA and here come the blitz box. It's Ronald Brown He's got Sawyer's Wapi with him. That's ricocheted off the blitz box Ball still alive for anyone's taking yeah, and it's Undalovu who has it, but another decision to the Eagles. Yeah, because Zoyazwapi got to that. It's not considered a knock-on because it hadn't hit the ground yet. The U.S. will be rewarded with a penalty here. And there's some tired bodies. This is the third match of day one here in Singapore. Three penalties for the South Africans. And you're not going to say uncharacteristic because they do give away penalties, but often not in positions where they're vulnerable like this one. Absolutely. Ronald Brown, such a dangerous runner. Just hit him on the shoulder. Hold there. He's playing on at that point. No knock on. Come in, what? Well, we're in a booth no, here commentating, but you can hear Mike Friday shouting through the glass, willing his team to do as Mike Friday wants. This is just swimming around knock the side the, of that break the, down there. Knock on from Falau Niua. I'm not sure you. Mike Friday's going to be happy Come with on. that. Looks straight up at the referee's box. Yeah, and I think he has a fair point here. There's the third ruck and row where their actions have been material. They've slowed up the nine able to get the ball away. And that's what he's complaining about. Neil Powell thinks it's all good. Yeah. Great subplot this, isn't it? The Silver Fox, Neil Powell, series winner multiple times with South Africa. Up against Mike Friday, who's been there and done that as a, as a player just like Powell. Gee, get those two in a room together yeah. talking about sevens. I just love the thick Bromley accent from, from Geezer, our boy, Mike Friday. And all these Americans, David Still is a very proud American. David. Crouch. <laughs> he gets the best out of them, doesn't he? Find. Set. 
couple of titles for the USA Eagles back to back in Las Vegas. Debut title in London back in 2016. Ronald Brown to David's nice wrap around play. They love to do this. Sawyer's Wuppy awaits. Baker trying to get in the passing lane and shake Sawyer's Wuppy. He's dropped it cold. You do not see that very often. Bit of moisture on the ball here. High humidity in Singapore. Not sure who will use that as an excuse though. Yeah, definitely temperature and humidity. Just from what I'm Unlike okay. the skipper there to lose that one. He's had some Bubble. success though in Singapore. The one in tries to his yeah, absolutely, bit, yeah. Thank you. All time tries. Blitz. He leads the way. Shake Sawyer's Wapi, defending champions, of Five. course, here at the Blitz Box. Set. Oh, big, big scrum there. On the angle, though, was the call from Jordan Wade. Perhaps that word from Mike Friday on the sideline <laughs> has uh, had its effect. You never know. Jordy Ray, one of the most experienced referees on the circuit. Palau Niua sends it up to halfway. So seconds well, almost middle. out in this first half. Left middle, okay. South Africa still scoreless. You don't see that very Come often. Off. Harry Baker hasn't touched the ball yet, I don't believe. He's now on the field. Come back on. Out wide at the end of this line out. See if they can get him a one-on-one -on -one situation. He is waiting. Over on the near side here. Good line out. Here's Niua. Short ball. Back to Niua. Nice hands. Here's Lucas LeCamp. Here is Perry Baker. His first opportunity. Well marshaled by Brown and so is Wapi. Niua goes to Schrader. Oh, Maceo Brown in a bit of trouble does really well to get the ball away to David still he's powerful looks for the offload holds on perhaps wisely ball's gone loose little knock on though from the USA but from South Africa but the USA won't have an opportunity to play it because that is seconds out for the first half but it is the Eagles who lead South Africa at halftime in the pool they decide a seven points to nil Well, David still the only try of the match so far. It was a really good one as well. Mike Friday still yeah. having a word with the officials. Nothing changes. Oh, but I think he's justified. And yet another ruck there where the South Africans are infringing. Yeah. The the over there. I think his skipper's still having a bit of a word with the... With the there's Kayvon Williams not suited up for this one. The normal captain. So Schrade is the one with the captain's armband. Metaphorically, he's having a chat to Jordan Way. Kayvon's got the blooper of the year already in the fifth round here. He tried to kick the ball off the previous match when the match was won. It hit the post and stayed on the park. And Anton Nagongo from Canada dove on it and scored. Winning streaks on the line, isn't it? 36 games in a row. Down by seven and a half time. This is where they normally show their stuff, isn't it? Under pressure, they always seem to find something. I'll tell you what we won't see is panic from the Blitzbacher. It's just not in their DNA. So I think complimenting his team there about their defense. Seven nothing USA leads South Africa at halftime. This is the pool A decider. There you go. That's the win streak. That's in jeopardy now. 36 in a row. Can the Eagles find a way to stop the Blitzbock train? Mike Friday has ever a lot to say at halftime. Seem pretty pleased with their defense, and why not? They haven't conceded a point yet. No, they've been excellent. They work for each other, which is when the Eagles are at their best. Good to go. Good. Come on. It'll be Falau Niua who gets us back underway for the second half. The USA lost their last eight in a row against South Africa and the blitz box going for 37 a row against all teams seven nothing usa they have the advantage as things stand baker little offload out the back to 
David still. Some of these players are going to have to step up. No Kayvon Williams in this one for the USA. Lucas LeCamp, half break from him, put on the floor by no, no, no. the So is Wap, he's looking for the ball. Ciroc, you missed it the first time, second time. Penalty the Eagles. There's no way So is Wap, he's joined that through the gate. But they do have the penalty ultimately. So as you see, the loser plays Fiji. Winner will play Ireland in the Cup quarterfinals tomorrow. I'm not sure what we've seen so far. Either one of those contests would make much difference. This is all about this game, isn't it? This is yeah, all it about is. the win streak. It's all about the blitz box. It's all about the USA trying to find a way past South Africa. Yeah, the Irish did beat the Fijians early this morning for the first time ever. But you're right, there's so much to play for tomorrow. There's another penalty playing the nine, and this has got to be a card. Well, Visser, again, he was the one that did that in the first half. Penalty is the only call. He said the Springboks not afraid to give away penalties. But yeah, they very much trust themselves, don't they, from the penalty okay. situation. That's perhaps why... Look at all that. That's six in a row for South Africa. No yellow cards yet. Niua throws to Schrader. And then look at the power come in from Visser and JC Pretorius. David Still now charges into Grobelar and little Ronald Brown, who's holding up the much larger figure of Schrader. They created the mall and they've won the ball back. And that shows you what South Africa are all about. Yeah, the referee did declare a mall, so U.S. obligation to get that ball out. Yeah, loser plays Fiji, winner plays Ireland. Just a, perhaps a little naive from David Still there, running a bit high into contact. Change for the USA. Ben Brazil is out there in the two-shirt over on the loose head side of this crumb and Ustazen is coming out to add a little more size alongside Grobelar and Visser up front. Devon Hooman also out there in the 10 shirt. He'll feed this scrum. So many options though for South Africa. It's not like it drops off when he goes to the bench, is it? As things stand though, USA win the pool. They play Ireland tomorrow. Crouch! Set! Hooman under the attentions of Neil. Loose ball, Grobola reacts well. Not on Looking the ball. for the turnover was Neil. Wasn't ball on the down. ball, said the referee. Hooman under pressure now. Brazil was going for the clear out, but made some high contact, says the referee. That's gone over the top of Selwyn Davids and. That's what pressure can do. It forces the error. It'll now be an opportunity for the USA off the line out. I just wonder if the South Africans are thinking about this record. Just not like them to not execute under pressure. That one sails over the top. Such a low scoring game as well. Niua on the wrap around. Here he goes again. He's got LeCamp with him and an opportunity for Perry Baker. They've just oh. run into each other. Obstruction is the call from Jordan Way. A miscommunication between LeCamp and Baker. Opportunity for Davids to clear the lines. Makes pretty good yardage as well. Well, that's a momentum shifter. I'm not sure any advantage was gained here. He's being held by the ankle as he comes back in field. It's not like any defender has been rubbed out. Oh, He's right. holding him. He's holding him. Was in between the tackler and two the two. ball, but yeah, he was being held on to as well. As we said, USA on an eight game losing streak against South Africa. South Africa looking for their 37th straight win on the HSBC World Rugby 7 Series. And here comes Ryan Gusthazen into USA territory. Two and a half minutes to go to be so typical of South Africa if they can score their first points of the match Finish. right when it matters they've got a penalty another one and Soyuz Wapi goes quickly Impi, Impi Visser to his right Soyuz Wapi 
There's Bissett Ball to Adonis Grobola now. They're getting closer, South Africa. Visser again. Hulman, long ball over the top. Usthuizen will dive in the corner. And with 1.50 to go in this match, the conversion will be the levelling score. Yeah, relentless pressure. Great skills. I just think Perry Baker was happy to keep the man out wide. Make this conversion that much more difficult. So conversion to come, but a conversion is not enough to keep the win streak going. So they're going to want more points anyway, regardless of what happens here. But he's hit that really well from out wide as Devald Hulman. It is seven each, all tied up. Here comes the restart. Win streak still on the line. Human just seizing the moment. Knew that his club needed a lift. A minute to play. South Africa looking to keep this win streak going. That's bounced and LeCamp. Fortunately has possession 40 seconds to go all the usa have got to do is hold on to the ball and the win streak is over they might do a little bit better than that here's perry baker juggles it back ball's gone backwards says the referee but selwyn davis is onto it and he can't hold on it's gone forward we will have a restart here from the scrum time is off well everyone sevens rugby is back in full flight Every play is right on the edge. Match decider. Neil Powell's cool, but he's about the only one in the building. Don't give it time off, please. Now, the clock didn't stop there. He's called time off again. Our clock is still running. It stopped now. I think they've lost a few seconds there, South Africa. But it's USA with possession, importantly. Relax, guys. We're still making plays. Number 12. 12. Let's go, Tay. That's early scrum, eh? So a draw is enough for South Africa to win the group, but I think the thing in the back of their mind is the win streak here. Score remains the same as it is at the moment. The win streak is done. It could be an unbeaten streak, though. <laughs> that's actually that's that's different. Subs complete. Yeah, yeah, sit down. See what we're calling it. Those great New Zealand teams. I wonder if any of them drew along the way. It was going to take a big performance to do it, to end this win streak. There it is, 36 all time. USA have the ball, seconds almost out. All they got to do is win this scrum and get it off the field. There's a breakdown. You've got to be careful with breakdowns with Blitzbox about. They pick up and go again. They just got to get the ball off the field. Do the USA straight, and the captain runs it into contact again. Well, USA are going for the win. They want to top the pool here. They want to top the pool. That's their ambition. Win streak doesn't matter to them. South Africa need the ball. They could be playing into the blitz box hands here. Fascinating end to pool play here. Day one at the Singapore Sevens. Ben Brazel sets up the breakdown. Gavin Demore. As things stand, South Africa do win the pool. USA need points. Here's the offload to oh. Baker, reels it in beautifully. Perry Baker with one to beat, and he does so. The two-time World Rugby Sevens Player of the Year wins it for the USA in dramatic fashion. He snaps an eight-game losing streak for the USA against South Africa, and he ends the Blitzbot win streak on the sevens world series it was gonna take something special and that's what we got look at that offload oh, sublime man. and baker having the presence of mind still had some work to do at this stage no conversion. the stars and stripes are flying i thought he's gonna run out the back to monte noble on debut in the back of shot there with his hands in the air what an offload for perry baker and the USA overcome South Africa. It was going to happen eventually. And it's the Eagles who have done it. 12-7, USA over the blitz box. Wow. Well, it was a...
It was a tense old game, wasn't it? To close out day one, but it finished in spectacular fashion. Kayvon Williams is out there. They did it without their regular skipper as well. How well does that set up day two here in Singapore? Not only these two teams, Neil Powell disappointed, I'm sure, but he's got tomorrow to play for. Well, you, you got to compliment USA, haven't you? Not settling for the draw, going for the win. And they got it. And there you have it. For the first time this series, South Africa failed to top the pool. It is the USA Eagles who are three from three. They will be top seeds on finals day. Into pool B and Australia. They've had a perfect record as well. Three from three for the Aussie seven. Samoa though, a big story. Very little rugby coming in. They're through to the knockout matches tomorrow. And pool C, New Zealand. Great to see the All Black Sevens back on the circuit after a two-year hiatus. Argentina, they join them in the knockouts tomorrow morning. And then finally in pool D, it is Fiji and Ireland who have snuck through. It went right down to the wire this pool. But the double Olympic champions will be playing for medals tomorrow.